My name is Stefan Deschain, and I'm the host of The Nature's Living Show. And my name is Samantha Graham, and I'm the podcast's producer. This is the YouTube version of the podcast. We make it available here for those who prefer this format. But podcasts are much more convenient when you subscribe and listen on a podcast app. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, Stitcher, Deezer, Overcast, and many, many other places. Please visit naturistlivingshow.com for more information. But for now, enjoy this YouTube version of our podcast. This episode of the Naturist Living Show, Naturist Music. This episode of the Naturist Living Show is brought to you by Bear Oaks Family Naturist Park. At Bear Oaks, we offer traditional naturist values in a modern setting. Free your body, free your mind. www.bearoaks.ca Welcome to episode number 25 of the Nature's Living Show. Yes, it's been two years and we're now in our uh, third year. This is episode 25 and I'm your host, Stéphane Deschain. I'm also the owner of Bear Oaks Family Nature's Park. And today, we're talking about naturist music. You know, one of the things about being a naturist is there's no particular job or education level or... Uh, anything that makes a naturist. So naturists are found in all walks of life. And uh, naturally, those who are more creative would uh, take their passion for naturism, and it truly is a passion for most naturists I've met, and try to apply it to their art, whether that be uh, paintings. I've seen paintings and sculptures, or uh, people have created uh, theater plays. Um, We've talked to Stephen Crawley, who does graphic novels about naturists. There have certainly been a number of novels written as well. And of course, a number of musicians have written songs and music about uh, naturism. Uh, one of the first ones I met was actually uh, Elaine Williams and Leonard Lerman at uh, one of the FCN Naturist Festivals, who'd written uh, an international naturist anthem. Um, I think they first did it in the 90s. It was first printed in Going Natural in 1994. Um, in English and then in French in 2006 and and in 2009 they even did a uh, German version with uh, Claudia Kellersch uh, who was at the festival so it, it exists in three versions It's fun to be Where must you like it for nothing at all? For a life to be part 
But also, if you've been listening to the um, uh, early shows of the Nature's Living Show, the early episodes, you will have heard a number of songs uh, by the Naked Drummer and the Bailey's Road Band. I ran into them. Hmm, I don't remember exactly how, but I connected with them and they sent me some sample songs, which I've included uh, in those early episodes. And they're very, very good. They're actually the music on hold uh, at Bear Oaks now, so you can hear it if you call Bear Oaks and you get put on hold for a little while. At least you'll hear part of the songs. Um, we also sell the CD of their music in the store to Bear Boutique, both the physical store and online. And uh, they're very catchy tunes, And but there's a whole CD. We only played the three songs, and there's a whole CD of, uh, of a naturist or nudist-based music, which is fun to listen to. So why don't I play uh, one of those songs from the Naked Drummer and the Bailey's Road Band once again? So that was Being a Nudist by the Naked Drummer and the Bailey's Road Band. Uh, there'll be links, of course, to their site um, on uh, the show notes, as usual. Um, it's from a CD called Songs for Nudists, and uh, there are four people in the 
the uh, group, Dennis, who does vocals and lead, Yvonne, who does bass, uh, Richard, uh, who I originally connected with, and he's the actual uh, naked drummer, vocals and drums, and Trace, who does vocals and rhythm. Um, the Dennis, Dennis McCaffrey, uh, who's a uh, guitar and lead guitar and vocals, also a little while ago sent me a, a CD from a friend of his that he helped, uh, Bill Siddall. The CD is called Stitchless, and it also has four uh, songs for about being a nudist or a naturist. Uh, Bill's from New Zealand. And then they sent me uh, an interview done by Baz Mantis uh, about, uh, well, uh, with Bill Siddle about the music he's created. So why don't we take a moment to listen to that? Okay, we're here now with Bill Siddle, Tauranga New Zealand musician and singer songwriter. And hello. How are you doing? Great, thank you. Now, you've released an album, a mini album, an EP, a four track EP. Uh, it goes by the name of Stitchless. Yes, here yes, in New yes, Zealand. It's got a uh, decidedly nudist theme running through it. Okay, so this is, a, this is your first solo release, isn't it? That's correct. Now, you've got a bit of an accent there, Bill. First of all, can you tell me where, where do you come from originally? I come from um, um, Yorkshire, England. How long have you been living over here for? 23 years. 23 years? Yes, 23 years. What made you leave the UK then? Came here to New Zealand for a better a sunnier climate, really. That's, right. that's the main thing, yeah. Sure. So your um, main instruments, what would they be? Uh, my main instrument, probably the one and only instrument, is the harmonica. So what, what first got you into music then when you were younger? Well, I played in a skiffle group in about 1957 at school, so... Basically, that's what got me into music, but really I left that alone for many years until I met Dennis McCaffrey in New Zealand, because he comes from New Zealand. He lives in Australia now. Yeah, and he was one of the musicians and the naked drummer. Yes, band, he's the, uh, the Bailey's Road Band. He's the Bailey's Road Band, and um, that's how I got uh, introduced to the naked drummer. <clears throat> I was approached um, if I, after my wife uh, died and... Uh, a couple of years ago, he, he uh, brought me out of uh, a kind of um, a miserable time, you might say, yeah. and by asking me if I could write a song for, for his, his uh, naked drummer band. And I said, well, well I'll give it a try. And um, it, one track led to another track and really ended up doing four. So you've done four of your own now for your own project. Yes. Yeah, Okay. So where does your inspiration come from these particular songs? Because these are not the sort of songs most people sort of get up in the morning and start writing about. Um, well, that was a challenge. I've got to admit that was a challenge. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> the inspiration came from uh, Dennis McCaffrey, really. He he, um, he talked to me about it and um, he said, hey, get into it and uh, there's something different for you. And they were already involved in writing new to space songs. Yes, they? yes, they was already doing that. So mm. he sent me his CD, and um, I expect the inspiration came from him. Really, it was a it was a tough one. I've got to admit. Yeah, it would be. So what what comes first for you, the music or the lyrical ideas? Um, basically, the the music. I have to get a pattern of music down first, and the lyrics can come later. Excellent. So what are you doing musically at the moment? Um, just jamming around with my, with my a personal friend. Um, and not a lot. Uh, I have to admit, I've been a little bit busy with things. And, uh, yeah, I've not been playing out, as, as we call it. Um, just jamming. Yeah, I know you've been writing some other songs which haven't been nudist-related. That's um, correct. Could, would, would we be able to see a return back to the nudist genre of songwriting? Do you think? Uh, I mean, someone's come and gone, and you know, you'll uh, take the well, shoot off at I, least. I, uh, I guess that's a, 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 a distinct possibility. Uh, I, I don't throw that away. I said it, it's a possibility. I, I, uh, I have been, I am tied in space at the moment for, for doing anything, but uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Is, it, is this your first recording project, or you've been involved with other recordings as well? I have been uh, involved with other recordings uh, with. Dennis McCaffrey when he lived in New Zealand before he left to go to Australia because and we did a yeah we did a, a tape we did an audio tape at that time uh, and the band was called Realize and I did a I wrote a song on that too yeah mm. uh, I've heard that album and 
That would have been but a copy of it here in the studio. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's right. yeah. <laughs> Take a listen to one of the songs from the album, Stitchless. Four very clever songs on that CD from uh, Stitchless and Bill Siddall. But life is full of funny coincidences. And uh, within, I would say, just weeks of that, I received a uh, essentially a press release about a new, brand new album that was going to be released. Uh, an album by uh, Ton, Ton, Ton Du, I think you pronounce it, or Ton, Ton Do. Actually, he says he says a tondo, which is short for Tony. Uh, Anthony Douglas is his name, so he takes Tony, Tony, and Douglas, and he becomes uh, Tondo. And he's been in nature all his life, and he did these two uh, albums, uh, each with ten songs, so very prolific in the writing side. The words are really, really nice, actually, really well thought out. Um, the two. Uh, Albums are called Nature Zones and Naked Places. And uh, so I was intrigued uh, by the coincidence, by the fact I'd found yet another Naturist Musicians. Um, you can actually listen. The, the two CDs have not yet been released as of uh, this month when I'm doing the uh, podcast. But uh, he's planning on releasing them in the spring of 2011. But you can actually listen to them online uh, these, they're through the website that I'll put on the show notes again. There's a streaming of the songs, so that's, that's how I heard them, and that's how you can hear them. But you can hear them right here uh, on the show. So let's play one of them right now. Sure. 
rental space that gives you a home. The party that tags along is looking for a way to roam in a complete and total nature zone. So I was intrigued by the music, and I was intrigued by the words, and I was intrigued by uh, the man. So I gave him a call, and uh, we arranged an interview. So what you're about to hear is my talk with Tom Du. So you go by the name Tom Du, but that's not your real name. You, you were saying it's a, it's a, an art artistic name, I guess. Yeah, it's just a stage name. Actually, it, it it derives from Tony Douglas, and I I pronounce it Tone Du. Tondo, okay. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. Needed something distinguishable. And uh, where are you from? I was born in Dayton, Ohio. And uh, I've been many places uh, since. I I, uh, I most prefer, uh, at least at, at, this, at this stage, I most prefer Sunny Isles Beach, Florida. I'm now... Uh, just a few footsteps away from Holliver Beach, and it, it just works perfect for me. <laughs> nice. I, I love so. I love Holliver Beach. It's a it's a beautiful beach. Loved it. I was there just last uh, last summer, last spring. Yeah, it's great. It's great there. So, and but you're also in Vegas, and you're uh, you've got a fair bit of connection to Hawaii as well. Yes, uh, in Las Vegas, uh, I have some family in Las Vegas, and I do the I actually do the music production in Las Vegas. And uh, it's a sort of a central location. There's family here, and then I'll I'll be going over to 
Oakhurst, California, to do the music video for the single for Nature Zones. And uh, I have gone to Hawaii uh, several times, and I'll probably continue doing that. I, I like it there. Uh, Oahu, uh, uh, Waikiki Beach uh, area, and uh, I like the um, I like McKenna Beach. Uh, little beaches there on Maui. It's a really nice spot there too. Nice. Now, um, which came first, uh, music or naturism? Oh, naturism. <laughs> yeah, definitely. How did you become a naturist? You know, I, I don't know that I uh, became a naturist. I, I think it's just it's just been it's just been who I've been. It is what I've been for as long as I can remember. I don't I don't have any differing feelings uh, that I've ever had. Uh, there there have been more opportunities later in my life to to live it fully than earlier, but it's just um, it's just who I've been forever. I think. <laughs> well, that's good. So, what what? Um, how did you end up making deciding to make uh, music about naturism? Well, I uh, there are a lot of reasons. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted to have a way to identify with other naturists, uh, connect uh, with other naturists, and then there's, you know, I, I've, I've been in environments, uh, mostly, mostly the free beaches, and I've seen some things that are, uh, I'm sure, <laughs> uh, contrary to naturism. And there's a good deal of of uh, observation of of the things that are contrary. Mm. I think it's important to note that naked people are not naturist. They're they're merely uh, people in in natural form. Right. And I think these people, some of them, uh, they'll exhibit a conduct that's not not at all uh, representative of a, of a naturist. And it's just. Uh, it's it's where the uh, it's where all the attention seems to be focused. So I thought if I could do something like what I'm doing and have it uh, see the light of day, then it might make a, a positive impression, and it'd be something that other natures could relate to as well. Well, I'd, yeah, and I definitely like your lyrics. I mean, you're really uh, trying to capture a naturist uh, philosophy there. Um, I, I you know it's not a fair term to use. Uh, in North America, but nudist is really uh, what you describe people who are just nude um, on a beach or in a club, and that's it. That's in Europe. That's what they they call nudists, and naturists right. are those who have a whole, you know, life philosophy of respect for self and others and the environment uh, around that, and, and actually not. It's not all about nudity. So, so. but I in North America, people will call themselves nudists who are really naturists as well. So I. I, I don't think there'll be to use that as a negative label the way they do in Europe wouldn't be fair in North America. Thank you for that. That's that's a good point. Um, so, how do you uh, tell? How do you start uh, doing a? Uh, how do you do a song? How do you how do you put together a song like you've done? You you have some twenty songs, I would say, right? Is that about right? Oh, more actually, but there are twenty that are ready for. Well, I, I shouldn't say ready for release in this interview, but there are twenty that are actually ready. There are two albums that are ready, but. Uh, this is so easy, and it's it's not. Uh, when I say it's easy, I'm saying that I'm I'm merely writing of my life experience. My uh, I'm writing of my uh, my own personal naturist life, and uh, it's varied, and it's it's extensive, and it's you know, it's just based on obser observations and feelings and and ideas and and plans, <laughs> <laughs> and it just comes together really really easy honestly now have you done non-naturist music songs and that kind of thing i have i've written uh about a dozen or so uh, adult contemporary songs i uh, haven't produced those i'll probably do that sometime after these two albums are out hmm. they're pretty good <laughs> but they're not at all naturist uh, focused yeah, well, certainly, I think most musicians uh, write, about, write about things that they're passionate about, and that's where the good music comes out, right? 
I think probably so, honestly. Um, this is just, this just kind of flows for me. And I think it's good. Uh, I've heard that it, that it works for a lot of other people. It's not going to work for everybody, but if, if the listener gets a chance to read the lyrics, uh, it comes together. And if that listener is a genuine nature, then it, it'll work. It'll be something that I think can be uh, related to and, and appreciated. And how would you describe your style of music? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, other. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't know the genre. I, I think it's multi-genre, honestly. Um, and a music producer will have a take on it. Uh, you know, the, the listener, the novice listener will have a take on it. Uh, a disc jockey might have another another take, but I really don't classify it. I don't know. I, I think it's pop. I think it will. It, it, it is a popular uh, matter. It's a popular subject, and I think that the style of music fits into the popular um, music genre. Yeah, it's. It, I was trying to 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 peg it, and and uh, you know, and I'm certainly not a music expert, and uh, we'll play it after this interview so that you know the listeners can also. Uh, make their own decisions, but uh, you know, in in a way, your lyrics and uh, what you're singing has a certain um, folk type of uh, style to it. But the music is uh, much more modern, um, certainly because there's an electronic side to it as well. Um, and it's it's a uh, it's fairly uh, I, you know a kind of adult contemporary pop in terms of the the speed and tone to it. Uh, I was wondering, you know, if you took your song and your lyrics and put it up to a guitar, maybe it would be a completely different uh, style at that point. What do you think? Probably, yeah. That, that's very well put. That's, uh, that's a good observation. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, none of them are bad. They're just uh, the way it is. It's always interesting to see where people are going with them. Do you, pr you produce and play the music yourself as well? No, I don't. I... Uh... I, I direct the music. In other words, I'll take a guitar and I'll say to the, the people that are, the person actually that's doing this for me, this is what I want the guitar to do. This is what I want percussion to do. And I, I'm good enough to sample what I would like to have done, uh, but I wouldn't dare play any of these tracks. <laughs> I, bar I barely sing them. <laughs> I, I do all the composition, but I leave all the other professional, or really professional stuff to the... Uh, to the, to the instrumentalist. So, what's your musical your musical background? What's your experience with music? Very little, honestly. I don't. Uh, a lot of artists will say this, and it, I suppose it's true. But for myself, I really don't uh, read any music. I don't have any formal songwriting uh, training or any of that. I'm more the. Uh, I think I'm more the idealist and the poet, probably, and I just. I choose music for the uh, for the art form to do this, but there's not any really extensive music background. But I'll, that'll that'll change. It'll have to. <laughs> so what what's your hope? Where do you plan to go with this? You're just really getting started, right? That's correct. Yes, I think uh, I, I'm going to produce the albums, and I'm going to share them, and. Uh, I want to promote them to, uh, ideally, uh, the demographic. I want to promote them to the naturist uh, communities. And uh, if I can do that much, I'll feel as if I shared my uh, perspective and, and my experience with uh, my spiritual cousins. <laughs> if, it, if it turns out to be more than that, uh, I think that'd be great. I do intend to do uh, a couple of release parties for the uh, for the Nature Zones uh, CD. I'll do one uh, probably on the west coast of uh, of the country of, of the United States, and the one on the uh, on the east coast. And then in the summer, I'll release the uh, I'll release Naked Places, and we'll figure out how to do that. But I think if I can uh, get these two albums. Uh, released, I will, and share them with the demographic. And I'd like to do this internationally, obviously. Then uh, I'll feel as if I've, 
I've uh, accomplished something that's significant uh, for me. You know, the whole music industry is changing incredibly fast. Where do you think you're going to sell, or, and in what formats do you think you're going to sell most of your music? I think it'll probably uh, take off really fast uh, through uh, the MP3 uh, avenues. I think it'll probably take off with Amazon. Uh, dot com and and our Amazon Music and uh, and iTunes and uh, the likes, but uh, there are going to be physical CDs, and I'm actually going to hand some of those out at the parties, at the release parties, and they'll be available uh, through Amazon. dot com and and some others. But I think the most sales will probably take place over the internet with the, the MP3s. And so, uh, iTunes, you think will be a major source? Oh, definitely, yes. So people can get the uh, the songs through iTunes? Can they buy it right now? No, it's not available right now. I do want to wait until the official release, but when uh, they are available, the uh, they'll be available through iTunes, definitely. All the major uh, online uh, sources will, will have it. I think there's some 30 stores. When do you think that will be? You know, I, I want to do this right away. Uh, I'm anticipating the release is going to be spring break uh, next year, and it just seems like it's so far away. <laughs> There's a good chance I'll, I'll, I'll let it go before that. Uh, I just wanted to sort of have a big, a big bash for uh, for the release, and I wanted to do that. And uh, actually, I want to do it out in South Florida, and it could be that we do it earlier. So I'm thinking at the earliest, maybe uh, maybe late February, maybe. Maybe March. And if we get real antsy, we'll do it before that. <laughs> right. But people can already uh, listen to your songs, or at least 10 of them, through your website on Reverb Nation. Right, right. It's, it's available for streaming. And the, uh, the URL is uh, Reverb Nation, all one word, uh, slash uh, T O N D O U. Actually, it's real, reverbnation.com slash. Yeah, I'll, and I'll put a uh, link to that in the show notes, um, okay, as well okay, as uh, when the CD comes out, uh, we will be carrying it in uh, the uh, Bear Boutique, uh, both the online and the physical store, so as soon that's as I awesome. can get the CDs from you. Absolutely. That's awesome. Thank you, Stefan. So that was my interview with Ton, and uh, now why don't we play one more song from his album? I'd better take good care of it I'll be going here and there with it I won't be needing much to wear on it All spring and summer long Maybe I'll tidy up the hair on it For the time that I'll be bearing it Getting some oceanic air on it Until the seasons are gone See the shame of it I don't expect to get to fame with it I don't intend to hide I came with it And so I don't think it's wrong I would expect to have some fun with it I want to feel the gentle sun on it Besides I'll never quite be done with it Not until my life is gone Thank you. 
Well, with that, let's close this episode of the Naturist Living Show. Thank you again for listening. There will be notes for all of the uh, bands and music and CDs and people that I've mentioned. Uh, those notes will be at uh, the Naturist Living Show website, which is naturistliving.bearoaks.ca. That's .ca for Canada, not .com. So thank you again for listening, um, and please keep sending your comments and suggestions. I always appreciate getting them, and I get uh, quite a few now after each and every episode. The show's email address, if you want to comment or uh, sub- submit suggestions or whatever you'd like to say, is uh, naturistliving at bareoaks.ca. That's B-A-R-E, of course, bareoaks.ca. So join us again in about a month for the next episode of The Naturist Living Show. This episode of The Naturist Living Show was brought to you by Bear Oaks Family Naturist Park. Traditional naturist values in a modern setting. Traditional values means that naturism is more than just taking your clothes off. It is a life philosophy with physical, psychological, environmental, social and moral benefits. Bear Oaks Family Naturist Park strives to promote those naturist values in a modern setting that provides the amenities and services that our members and visitors expect. Free your body, free your mind. Learn more at www.bearoaks.ca. We hope you enjoyed this video. As we said at the beginning, podcasts are much more convenient when you subscribe and listen on a podcast app. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, Stitcher, Deezer, Overcast, and many, many other places. Please visit naturistlivingshow.com for more information on how to subscribe.